All right, how's it going, everyone? So, here's part two of the first part of the video. This is part two. Um, in this part, I'm going to show you guys the Marvel, I'd say Marvel side of everything. So, I have a lot of Spider-Man, Loki, a couple Deadpool, couple Doctor Strange, Thor, all that good stuff, alrighty? So, what am I gonna start off with first? I'm gonna start off with the Lokis, because like, why not? So, these Lokis aren't from like, oh yeah, this is the Avengers version of Loki. No, no. Most of these are from the actual series, Loki. Which, if you haven't seen, it's pretty good, okay? I love the, I love the season. Uh, season 2 releases this year. I don't remember if it's in the summer or the fall of this year, but you best believe I'm watching it, alright? So, get Disney Plus, watch Loki. It's pretty good. I highly recommend it. But, you know... But, I'm going to show you this Loki, because this is the Loki from the series. This is Loki, from Loki. Not Avengers, not a Thor. Loki from Loki, alright? Yes, it's a bobblehead. Um, kind of disappointed that it's a bobblehead, because... I don't really like the bobbleheads, but like at the same time, I think they're cool. I have mixed emotions about them. But this is what the series is all about. This guy right here. He's in his, what is it called? I can't remember, but it has to do a lot with the timeline. And this is basically his uniform that he has to wear throughout the series. So, there's that. He's got his hair slicked back. It's got the little detail on the little jacket part right here. Kind of cool. I like it. Plus, Loki and khakis. You don't get to see that every day. He's usually in green or black. Second thing, second. The female version of Loki, Sylvie. She is also a bobblehead, Funko. Um, she's got the cool little dagger. The little details matter. The little details matter. The fact that there's the crater right here where her other horn used to be. Details matter, alright? So, she is the second main character of the series of Loki. And she is basically with Loki, like, the entire time. And it's crazy but you know he he kind of falls in love with her you know falls in love with himself but this is silvery um this is uh another one that i like but like at the same time it was misleading this is the alligator loki and yes, there is an alligator version of Loki. And he has the little horn helmet too. And it's cute. Especially right here. Look at that picture. Can't tell me. Bro, look at that. Look how cute that is. Can't tell me that's not cute. He got a little smile. Everything. But little details matter. He's got his nostrils. It's got the scale patterns on it. It's got little bumps on his back where his thing should be. Little details matter, right? He's just laying there. He's just chilling. He's minding his own business. So, it is what it is, all right? But uh, it's a Hot Topic exclusive. You can only get it at Hot Topic. I got mine off of Amazon. So, that's what Amazon's good for, all right? Don't you know? Um, here's President Loki. It's really cool. He's in his tux. He's got his horned helmet on. I love the horned helmet. 
right here on this top, it says, it's got a little pennant, pin that ha is in red, white, and blue, has stars on it, and it says Loki, like he's running for the election. It's pretty cool. One of my favorites. I like President Loki. I've had this one for a couple years now. Um, details matter. He's got the little bell. You can see the detail, the little bell, the little buttons on his wrist. He's even got a rip in his sleeve. It's pretty freaking cool. I like that one a lot. Um, this one's my favorite. The Venomized Loki. Getting taken over by the Venom symbiote, you know? And look at that. Look how cool that is. It even affected the scepter that he has, that he uses for the Tesseract or whatever you want to call it. It's even got the little venomized tongue and teeth. It's got a little strand of hair. It is freaking cool. That's all there is to that. All right? So, that's it for the Lokis. Um, I'm going to go to my Deadpools. <laughs> These are both my favorites, all right? They're pretty, they're pretty cool. First one I'm going to show you is friggin' Dino Pool. It's a dinosaur ver version of Loki, which if you read the comics and everything else, there's also like a Gwen Pool. There's Deadpool. There's Dino Pool. There's Kid Pool. There's a lot of different versions of Deadpool. Like there is a lot of different variations of Loki. But this is the Dino Pool. I got it off of Amazon, and it's so cool. It's like a little T-Rex version of him. He's got the two swords. He's even got the buckle. Little details matter. I'm pretty sure on the back he has, like, the 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 harness for the where the swords go, you know? But I can't remember it off the top of my head. It's been a minute since I've opened it. It was in a little box, like a casing, like a pop protector box. But I still have it. It's put up. But, yes. This is, it's a bobblehead too, but like, it's so cool, dude. Little details in the belt. You can see the little patches, bro. Again, details matter. Second one, Contest of Champions Venom Pool. Venomized Deadpool. Look how sick that is. He's even got the little claws on his hands. Black tongue. It looks like his... <laughs> It looks like his uh, outfit is hanging on by a thread and it's so freaking cool. Look at that, dude. Little patches. You can see like little, where the little stitches are to hold it. It's so cool. One of my favorites. Not gonna lie. Next up. I'm gonna do Doctor Strange. Because I only have two of those as well. So the first Doctor Strange I'm gonna show you is... Defender Strange. I can't remember if he was in it, but this is from Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. It's just a variation of Doctor Strange from like a different timeline. But look how cool it is. He's got his hair up and a little man bun. The details of the gray going up into his man bun. And his man bun, you can also see where the gray hairs are. Little details of the chest plate and everything. The armor, whatever you want to call it. The fact that he's in, like, the gloves. I can't remember if he's at the beginning of the movie and he's the one that dies. Or if he's a different one. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure he's the one from the beginning of the movie with uh, America Chavez or whatever her name is. I can't remember. But, yeah, that's Defender Strange. He has a goatee, too. So... Supreme Strange, I don't recall him being in the movie. He might have been in the movie, but this is another pop. I'm pretty sure that last one was Bobblehead. This one is also all Bobblehead. Look at the cool little cape, bro. It goes all the way up past his head. We got the gray hairs. I don't think his hair is in a man bun on this one. But look at the little details. It's so cool. I'm pretty sure uh, a Supreme Strange is also in the What If series. I can't remember. I'll have to look and check and see. But look at that. That is so freaking cool, dude. You can see the little gray hairs. This one don't have a goatee, so kind of sucks. But still a good pop. 
Up next, this one kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Venomized Punisher. Punisher is a cool, all right? Punisher is cool. He was a Marine, and he's going to find bad guys, bro, okay? He kills bad guys, all right? Because they kill his family if you watch the series or the movie. And he basically goes out and he kills people, all right? That's all he does, right? But this is if the Venom symbiote was to take over Punisher. And look how it's affecting his gun. His gun even has teeth in it. Little details matter. Look at the belt. So freaking cool. Um... Next is going to be, I'll do my Spider-Man because why not? So first Spider-Man I'm going to show you is Zombie Hunter Spider-Man from the What If series. It's pretty cool. I really like this one because he's got a cape. Spider-Man with a cape, dude. Look how cool that is. That is dope. Bring this to the MCU. All right? Don't just be like, oh, yes, it's part of the MCU because it's the What If series. No, it's not. It's different. It's What If. All right? Zombie Hunter Spidey, pretty freaking cool. He got the cape. He got his, he got his signature, you know, whoosh, all right? Next thing's next. This is Spider-Man from No Way Home, all right? Uh, they're all bobbleheads, I'm pretty sure, which is unfortunate because I don't really like the bobbleheads, but, like, I do like the bobbleheads at the same time. But, like, again, little details matter. This is uh, the integrated suit. This is basically, ooh, Doctor Strange mixed with Spider-Man, all right? It's got the little details of, the like, the little part right here. He's in his iron spider suit, as you can see, shooting a web out. He's got a stand that's holding him. Little details matter. The fact that this isn't just to focus the plate. They put in the extra detail of, like, the suit behind it and everything. So, yeah, one of my favorite ones. No, I'm going to save for last because that one's my favorite. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm going to be straight up and honest. I'm a gamer, all right? The amount of time that I've put into Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales, I platted both those games, all right? I'm freaking awesome. Okay, I'm not really awesome, but, you know. So, I got my favorite suits. Can't ever go wrong with the classic suit of Miles Morales from Spider-Man, Miles Morales. He's got the little nuclear fusion fist, I think is what it's called. I can't remember. I have to uh, look at it again because I'm very awful with memory. But the classic suit, you got to get the classic, all right? There's also one without his, uh, without his mask on, which I'm going to end up getting. All right, don't get me wrong. I like to collect stuff. I like to collect Funkos. Funkos are literally, I have like 58 Funkos, 59 Funkos. I have another Funko that'd be in the random part, which I'll tell you about when I get to it. But... Look how cool that is. The little details. You can still see like the little webs. Even on the chest. You can see like how there's like a little bit of gloss to it. The little webbing in the fingers. You can't see it on the camera. But he's got little webbing in the fingers. It's freaking cool. Alright. So that's it for this one. Alright. Second one I'm going to show you. Is the Crimson Cow Suit. This one's cool. This one's cool, all right? I like it because it's got a hood. Look how dope that is. The black and the red. The cool spider in the, uh, the on the front of the suit. It's just a beautiful red. The hood looks cool with the little black streak going around it. The eyes. It's even got the details with the spikes on the eyes. The web, of course. Um, the fact that he's got a little web going around him, too, like he's swinging through the air. It's cool to me. This one I like too. All right, I like all my Funkos. Why would I get them if I don't like them? Anyway, this one is my favorite one because it's literally so freaking cute. 
I don't say cute a lot, and it's weird saying cute. But this one's one of my favorites. It's called the Bodega Cat Suit. This one's one. This one's literally like my favorite because he he's in a spider suit, right? He's minding his own business. The only way you get this suit on this game. So on this game, there's this guy who works at like a grocery store. You know him because you know you go there all the time. And his cat, he has a cat named Spider Man because you know Spider Man's his favorite hero. And basically, you go and you find this cat. And this is the suit that you get after you complete it, and you help him find his cat, and you return it. On the back, it literally has the little cat, Spider-Man, in a backpack. He's just carrying around a backpack with a cat with a Spider-Man mask on. How cool is that, dude? And in the game, the cat meows, and it goes in, and it pops out, and everything. It is so freaking cool, and it is adorable. This is my favorite Miles Morales one because of the cat. You know, I'm not a cat person, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. Hi, Matthew. Then here we go with the last Spider-Man one, my all-time favorite, Spider-Carnage. This is AAA anime exclusive. I don't know what that is. But I got it from Amazon. Look how cool. It's like Spider-Man and Carnage mixed. It's got all like the veinies like through Carnage. It's got like the Carnage uh, iced face, you know. It's so freaking cool. Blue, red, black. It's even got like little bracelets on it. It's got like a little stand that's holding it because he's like jumping. This one is my favorite Spider-Man one. All right. It's so freaking cool to look at. It's eye appealing. Like, you can't tell me you would not see this on the shelf. Like, dude, that is cool. It's dope, right? So that's it for the Spider-Mans. I already showed you the Lokis. So I'm going to get into the Avengers. So I'm going to show you my randoms first, all right? The randoms for the Avengers because... I got four of the others. So the first random one is Captain America from Infinity War. Little details matter, all right? You can't really see it on the camera, but because it's in a Funko Pop protector, but on the camera, it's got little rips and tears in the suit. It's freaking cool. Captain America with a beard is just awesome, all right? can't tell me you look at this dude in a suit that looks like it's from World War II and want to fight him. Nah, bro, I'd be running the other way, not going to lie. All right? The beard's intimidating. Without the beard, he's a baby fan. Bro, what am I going to be scared of? Beards are intimidating. All right? They're intimidating. This is a pretty cool pop. I like it. Second pop I'm going to show you is the Falcon. Captain America version, Amazon exclusive, Year of the Shield edition. He's got like little stuff on his, on the Captain America shield. Like, I'm pretty sure it's impacts from bullets. The red, white, and blue suit with, it's so freaking cool. The red, white, and blue winged suit. I'm pretty sure. Um, Again, little details matter. The, the fact that they have impact and it looks like it's going ting off the shield. Pretty freaking cool. I like this one a lot. We all know that this ain't really Captain America. It's just Sam. Um, last one of the randoms is Thor from Love and Thunder. Look at all the detail that they put into his suit. That is so cool. Plus, I like this suit a lot. The red, gold, the red cape, the gold, blue, and silver, black. So cool, all right? Little details that they put into this that I like is Stormbreaker has literal lightning coming off of it bro can't tell me that's not cool the fact that he has the literal streak in his face from yeah the streak in his face from uh when he got his eyeball taken out to put back in bro you can't tell me that's cool the little details matter dude the fact that they inv included the scar cool just magnificent all right so for the final ones of this, I am going to show you 
the end game ones. These ones are my personal favorite of all the Marvel ones that I have. So first things I'm gonna show you is because it's not as cool as the others. Thor. Him with short hair. He's not fat. Like he was in the movie. Again with the little scar. It even got the slit in the eyebrow. Little details matter again. The little A on the chest. Stormbreaker. The detail in Stormbreaker. And they, even in the stick holding Stormbreaker is pretty freaking cool. Alright? It's dope. He's angry. Time travel, bro. He's like, I gotta go save the universe. Alright? Second one I'm gonna show you. Because it's not as dope as the other ones, but it's still pretty cool. The end of Endgame. With old man Steve, all right? Year of the Shield, Amazon exclusive. He's got his little... He's sitting on the... He's sitting on the little bench. You can't see it, but he's sitting on the little bench. He's got his shield in his case. And if you know this scene, uh, he went he went back and he, like, did some mission and, you know, he seen Peggy, Peg, whatever. He's like, bro, I got to go live my life with Peg. So he ended up growing old. And basically, the scene is him sitting on the bench, retiring as Captain America, and him about to pass the shield to Sam. So, you can see he had the little zipper open and shown the shield. Pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, another memorable moment of this. It's another cool Funko I have. It's one of my favorites. Easy top five. Captain America from Endgame, bro. Avengers is symbol. He got Mjolnir in one hand. He got his shield beat up and broken in the other. Again, little details matter. You can see the paint scuffs and everything. I will say little details matter when it comes to these because it's important when it, to me when it comes to Funko Pops. He's got the bruising under his eye, eyes. He's You can tell that he's going through war right now, dude. He's beat up. The fact that Mjolnir, he's running on literal lightning. He's got lightning just going around behind him and everything, dude. That is dope. You cannot tell me that this is not a cool pop, all right? But yeah, Captain America with his beat-up broken shield. And then Mjolnir, this is easy top five favorite pops. And then last but not least of the Marvel collection that I have. The I Am Iron Man, Iron Man, PX exclusive, glow in the dark. He's got the energy running through his arms. He's beat up. He's got even the blood coming from his eyebrow, you know. His armor is destroyed. You can see. Okay, you can't see it because it's cuffed. I don't know why, but that's how it came. So I cuffed it too. It's got the little infinity stones and it's got like streaks of each color going through each one. And it's freaking cool. And it's got him snapping saying, I am Iron Man. But yeah, here's what it looks like. It's pretty accurate too. It's so cool. It's an easy top five favorite too. So again, I'm not done collecting. I got a lot more to collect, but this is the final one for Marvel. Stick around for part three. It's going to be a shorter one because it's just randoms that I have so see you guys in the next video probably gonna be uploaded after this one a day after deuces